What's going on guys and welcome back to another episode of my player career mode. This is episode number 32 and uh, we start today's episode off with a game away at Loftus Road here to take on Queen's Park Rangers. Uh, obviously a newly promoted side and uh, we take them on here away from home and this game was being played in midweek and on the weekend we would have the FA Cup semi-final against Manchester City and of course I played uh, just a few days before that in the win against Sunderland by a goal to nil so the, the, the team was changed around a little bit. There were a few absentees but I was picked to start uh, uh, once again, I don't think I've missed a single league game other than the ones I've been injured for this year. I've never been dropped, so which isn't a real surprise, obviously, but I've never been dropped. So uh, we take on QPR here, and I was actually hoping I wouldn't play in this game. I was hoping for a rest because I wasn't at fully fit anyway. And you can see by my stamina in the bottom right, I was actually a little bit tired coming into this game. So I didn't really want to play, but the manager picked me. And uh, the first chance of the game would fall in the 12th minute here as I roll through Boatang. He strikes it, but unfortunately, the Brazilian goalkeeper, Julio Cesar, makes the stop and keeps it scoreless. And in the 32nd minute, it's Boatang on the ball again. He plays it forward here and eventually it's uh, Richard Dunn who gives the ball away and it falls to Williams and Williams puts it in to make it 1-0. So we do go 1-0 up in the 33rd minute. It is Williams who gets the goal. I kind of, I don't think I can claim an assist for that, but I did at least, you know, cause a little bit of a panic from the QPR defence. But still, it's Williams who gets the goal and we take the lead 33 minutes in. And uh, in the second half, in the 52nd minute, we had a free kick here and I, I was hoping the ball would be laid off to me, but unfortunately not because it was struck by the jag and it went harmlessly over the bar. I don't know what you got to do to get to take free kicks on this game but unfortunately I've never been able to but still 1-0 uh, here but we were in control really QPR weren't threatening at all and in the 56th minute Bartang gives me the ball here I get on the right hand side, take on Stefan and Bia beating with a nice piece of agility, uh, try and offload the ball, foul and intercepts but I win it back fake shot round and Bia, then Ronaldo chop past the defender, go through and strike on my left boot but unfortunately it goes just wide of Julio Cesar's post and uh, straight from that I decided to go ahead and request a sub because we were coming up to the hour mark and as you can see I was very very tired well, I wasn't very tired, but I was quite tired. You know, I need the rest, basically. And I thought the game was done, really. Carrillo came off the bench to replace me. And I couldn't see Fulham losing this game from a 1-0 lead because, like I said, QPR hadn't even threatened uh, our goalkeeper's goal at all. And I felt like we were in complete control, to be honest. So I thought, I'll just request a sub. Carrillo will come on. I'm sure the boys will get the job done because although we really do need to keep winning in the league, I put the faith in the teammates. That's not really something I've been doing of late, but thankfully, my faith was repaid because we did manage to hold on and win the game by three goals to two. So, um, yeah, so quite a few goals came in after I left. But uh, even so, we won the game by three goals to two. And that's an important win for us so finally the teammates actually do something good for once but still uh, we take on Manchester City here in the FA Cup semi-final at Wembley so we've done very well to reach this stage and I've said before I would love some silverware in our second season uh, with Fulham because of course we did win the championship last year with Nottingham Forest so I'd absolutely love some silverware in our second season as well as we take on Manchester City here unfortunately Kasami wasn't ready to play just yet so David would be playing just behind me but uh, even so I still felt I still felt relatively confident you know two wins in a row of course against Sunderland and NQPI I still felt relatively confident coming into this game and uh, of course City's team is fantastic but I still felt we could cause an upset here and uh, of course whatever team goes through will be taking on Spurs in the final what is it about Spurs getting to finals of competitions on this game I don't know but uh, still we take on Manchester City and as I look at their team I'm sitting there thinking Jesus that is going to be one hard team to beat my teammates going to have to be on fire for the entire game but I still definitely felt there was a chance and the first chance of the game would fall in the 20 third minute as Yaya Torre collects to all and offloads it to the French left back Gael Clichy. He finds Fernandinho he gives it to Javi Garcia and the Spanish holding midfielder plays it back to the Brazilian, goes down the left hand side, plays it back to the Spanish midfielder, he finds Gael Clichy the former Arsenal left back back to Javi Garcia and we just couldn't get the ball off Manchester City and uh, well thankfully for us it's a great save by the keeper there as Negredo's header is brilliantly stopped by the goalkeeper and he managed to get the ball away so almost 1-0 to City but thankfully our goalkeeper makes a good save and in the 29th minute here Steve Sidwell finds David, he plays the ball out wide uh, eventually uh, eventually after the tackle by Nasri he plays out wide towards the run of Kakaniklic down the left hand side keeps holding the ball swings it across Sidwell wins the header but unfortunately Joe Hart has a simple save and the 42nd minute Javi Garcia is on the ball again and we're doing quite well to have the score still at 0-0 uh, nil -nil here and as I take the ball around my man I need some support I don't get it but eventually comes back to me I play it over the top towards Steve Sidwell a great chance but unfortunately he doesn't really get hold of the shot and it goes harmlessly wide of the post so unfortunately still scoreless and on the stroke of half time here Javi Garcia gets on the ball Thank you. 
plays it out wide towards Mika Richards. Here he finds Jesus Navas down the right hand side. He finds Fernandinho. Fernandinho back to Jesus Navas down the right hand side. He ends up swinging in across and he picks out his Spanish teammate Negredo. And unfortunately, the Spaniards link up there and Negredo finesses the ball past the goalkeeper. So Fulham nil, City one on the stroke of half time. Not what we wanted directly uh, just before half time. Not what we wanted, but unfortunately, we couldn't really get the ball off City in this game. And in the 63rd minute, Jovetic gets on the ball again. We just couldn't make the tackle. And as Javi Garcia gets there, you see me chasing the ball around. I can't do everything myself. And as Nasri gets onto the ball, he rolls it forward. And Jovetic's uh, shot hits the inside of the post and just trickles over the goal line. So my teammate's not quick enough to react. The teammate's not really doing much help for us. And unfortunately, Jovetic does make it 2-0 to City. So unfortunately, this game looked like it was done here. Couldn't really see us coming back from 2-0. And unfortunately, City were in a driving seat, to be honest. But directly from kickoff, we did try and respond. Carrillo gets the ball to me. I play it back towards the winger. He plays me down the right-hand side. I swing in a first-time cross. It's a great chance for David, but his header hits the post and City get the ball away. It comes back to him and he decides not to shoot and I'm just sitting there thinking, for goodness sake, why don't the AI have players have a brain cell between them? It's just ridiculous. So, still full of nil City 2 and we should have scored there, but unfortunately the AI didn't uh, perform. And in the 69th minute here, as we win the ball back, it's played forward towards myself. I control the ball really nicely. Fake shot around my man. Then play it through towards the run of David. He uh, keeps holding the ball. He then plays it out wide towards Carrillo. What a great chance here. But his shot is well saved by Joe Hart. I've got no idea why he's tried to chip that one. And eventually City get the ball away. So we just couldn't score. And I wasn't getting the service. I, I had to turn provider in this game. So I wasn't getting the service. And it was really frustrating knowing that the teammates were missing all these chances. But in the 83rd minute here, Steve Sidwell gets on the ball. And I have to say, Joe Hart on FIFA. I don't know why, but he is absolutely shambolic. And that is just another case there. It's a wonderful little bicycle kick. Chip through ball by myself and as Sidwell goes through he smashes it it does curve a little bit into the bottom corner but you got to look at Joe Hart they're a big solid you know capable goalkeeper how is he not getting down quick enough for that and it's full and one city too so possibly a real late comeback who knows very good chance though and uh, from kickoff here I intercept Javi Garcia and it's a great chance I go down left hand side beat Jolien, uh, Jolien Lescott keep on going keep on going stop the ball here but I completely messed up a great chance and unfortunately City cleared it and I was sitting there just cracking my fingers thinking no that was a great chance for us to equalize but I messed it up uh, if we get the ball again and as Brian Ruiz spots the run of me he picks me out and I finish the ball into the bottom corner to make it Fulham 2 City 2 with four minutes to go and would you believe it from 2-0 down and in just a few minutes we've leveled the score to 2-2 so absolutely fantastic finish but what a ball by Brian Ruiz I said just a few minutes ago I wasn't getting any service and I wasn't that was the best free ball or best pass really I've received in the entire game one of the only accurate ones that actually came towards my feet and as I finessed the ball I cushioned it with the, out with the uh, inside of my left boot there my weaker left boot into the bottom corner Joe Hart kind of got caught in mo no man's land and it is Fulham 2 Manchester City 2 so from nowhere we're back in the game we're back on level terms and we do go ahead and force extra time because no real chances happen after that and as you'll see, uh, we did indeed finish the game at two apiece. So thankfully, we were level and I was just absolutely relieved, to be honest, because we didn't get too many chances. But when we did, we did manage to take them. But uh, the game, you know, the game wasn't sort of all Manchester City's. We had more shots and more on target. It's just the possession. That was the main problem. You know, we didn't have the possession which City had, which meant that when they went 2-0 up, we couldn't get the chances. But uh, thankfully, it was Fulham 2, City 2. And in the 105th minute here, well, unfortunately, the uh, possession stat um, was just as, as true as it could comes really we just we could not get the ball off City and as you see here I'm, I'm quite tired I can't do all the chasing anymore and as City just passed the ball around our teammates are just sort of I don't know what they're doing they're sort of not not, not putting the pressure on but they're not containing either it's just ridiculous and as Nasri goes down the left hand side here he keeps on going he holds on to the ball he, <laughs> he keeps on holding on to the ball the defenders don't want to put a challenge in eventually Clichy finds Jovetic he crosses the ball in and Yaya Torre heads into the back of the net so it's just like the worst defending you have to watch player career mode is just the most frustrating thing when you're watching the defenders do nothing so Yaya Torre makes it Fulham 2 City 3 and uh, the the uh, big money bags from Manchester are back in front in this game and directly from kickoff we try to respond here I take the ball around 2 or 3 City men go down the left hand side I need some players in the box I got no one to cross to but eventually I get onto my right boot here I uh, play it in field but unfortunately a shot by David is well saved by Joe Hart and it's cleared away by City and uh, as you can see here the game does finish for the first half at 3-2 so unfortunately with us 
are still a goal down with just 15 minutes to go before the end of the game. We really did need a goal from somewhere else. We would uh, be going out in the semi-finals and we would, wouldn't be progressing to the finals to score. Uh, remained as it did and unfortunately it did. It did stay at 3-2. We did lose the game and it's a real shame. No real chances got created in the second half. I have to say it was the worst second half of extra time you'll ever see. You know, 15 minutes to save ourselves from going out of the FA Cup and we genuinely created nothing. That's our frustrating player career mode is but still Fulham 2, City 3. We're out of the FA Cup in the semi-finals. We did well to get here but unfortunately our progress ends here and uh, we won't be going any further. But as always guys, a big thank you for watching the video. I really hope you have enjoyed it. If you have enjoyed today's episode, please leave a like because it's much appreciated. Really does help my channel out and I'll see you for the next episode of my player career mode series very soon.